नमस्ते एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यूएचपी थ्री एंड इन यूएचपी थ्री वी आर डूइंग द प्रैक्टिस सेशन एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी एंड द वर्ल्ड आउटसाइड थ्रू द सेल्फ and of course that involves the interaction and all of it so we'll go right to the assignment and after that we'll go to lecture 12 which is also talking about all the steps of exercise 2 so rather than recapping here and then doing them again in lecture 12 we'll go right to the assignment yesterday we had tried to give an assignment for um checking in yourself what you can directly observe within you so if you were able to do some of that assignment um we had talked about you know when it is say one is you know, all the kind of phrases that we say what we call our body language the kinds of grimaces that we make facial expressions that we make all of those things what do we are we really aware of what kind of grimaces we are making what kind of movements or expressions we are communicating through the body without being aware and if we look at the body that is just the expression it is actually what is happening within that is significant for us to observe because that is the basis for the expression so even though the assignment was for observing the expression the way you are speaking you know what kind of expressions you use on your face etc so try to look as if you are looking at yourself like you are seeing in a mirror what is happening and then note while you are expressing are you comfortable within or uncomfortable within are you happy within or unhappy are you reacting or responding try to see in any situation when somebody else's behavior is involved or any event outside the body inside the body what kind of meaning you are giving and the meaning that you are giving is based on whatever you have accepted about it so your um sanskar so like this if you keep observing you will be able to make um uh, you know many such observations that you perhaps had not been aware of and then we had also given one small example that suppose you are at the college and you have brought lunch from home and you open the lunch box and you start having lunch but you find there's very little salt in the food so try to observe this you have a choice to read this sensation so are you reading by choice or are you forced to read this sensation and what are your feelings and thoughts for the person who has cooked the food at that time are you happy or unhappy within and is your feeling based on understanding or on an assumption in the lack of understanding are you responding inside or reacting so these two um sets of assignments we had given yesterday so that we can try to observe ourselves and if you'd like to discuss any of these things then uh, 
we can talk about it now i would encourage others also there are some people who are regularly um sort of um sharing their observations which is very good um but i would also um, you know encourage others who have not been sharing to come forward and share these are all i mean this is a very um i would say an informal kind of a group in which <clears throat> we are trying to help each other explore so it helps in the exploration for you also and for others so do share namaskar madam namaskar to all namaskar so in uh, the example one uh, yesterday i shared in the two uh, you have given in the whatsapp group so regarding the uh, shortage of uh, salt in the food mm -hmm. in this case uh, i choose to read the sensation madam instead of i am forced to read it mm -hmm. uh, my feeling i can observe uh, regarding the person i am happy only because regularly uh, uh, the salt is good but one day means maybe some problem maybe she might have forgotten mm -hmm. like, like that i feel madam uh but regarding the less salt from the tongue i can see that the little uh, less taste that i can uh, uh, observe the taste mm -hmm. uh, regarding the person uh, i can completely uh, understand uh, but regarding tongue only a little bit uh, that taste difference i can observe mm -hmm. that much capacity i don't have <laughs> your happiness or unhappiness your response reaction ah uh, yes madam i respond regarding the person but i am unable to respond regarding the uh, tongue of the uh, taste of the tongue why because i am unable to be aware from the senses uh, sensations i am not that capable what would you do ah uh, yeah i can uh, uh, just uh, or i can add a little bit uh, salt what i have had with me uh, that i do that then that is a response no ah uh, yeah response i think have you understood madam my second uh, 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 what can i say incapability uh, the you do not like the taste of less salt in yeah it. yeah madam we because uh, the tongue gives me uh, means what the sensation uh, from that i am unable to be withdraw uh, from that i no, you withdraw see you will still get the sensation you can still choose to read the sensation no nah, yeah yeah you notice that the salt is less yeah yeah about the person also you feel okay she may have forgotten mm mm so what do you do about it then uh, 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 if i have uh, had with me some salt uh, regularly uh, in in our group we keep aside that we mix and we just taste it uh -huh. so yes. that is a response no yeah response yes madam regarding the person that is a response uh yeah even regarding this this is response no uh, yeah 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 in both the cases so it is response less, okay you take little what yes, i would consider reaction would be like oh no there's no salt in the food yeah why she has kept mm -hmm. less salt uh, uh she even if you are not thinking about her like i can't eat this kind of food yeah 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 yes Som not. sometimes i reacted also madam in in my house uh, Mm -hmm. uh wantedly you forgot like that sometimes i reacted <laughs> uh, sometimes uh, uh, no no for colleagues means uh, and in house also regularly they uh, do that even though wantedly they do now i am cultivating a habit of uh, understanding maybe her uh, uh, wantedly they do what do you mean Ah, I mean, sometimes uh, some uh, quarrel between us, <laughs> so <laughs> like that. Uh, so, so you think that she intentionally? Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it happens in the house. Uh, so yeah, even you must see that the intention is good. Yeah, intention is definitely good. But mm. previously, I was not thinking like that. Uh -huh. uh, uh, okay, uh, due to this quarrel, she has kept like that. So a little bit, I shouted. 
previously uh, used to do that that uh, shoutings have decreased madam now <laughs> very, very nice <laughs> has she noticed ah she noticed <laughs> i think definitely madam previously instead of uh, natural acceptance i used the I means what i used the technique of love i have to love all irrespective of their nature uh, irrespective of their activities but i was unable to continue mm -hmm. uh, okay to some extent i succeeded but uh, in the natural acceptance uh, concept uh, the same love uh, maybe due to the regular practice or maybe due to the regular uh, clear cut listening from your uh, uh, lecture uh, maybe i don't know i am able to uh, overcome this i am able to be calm uh, irrespective of uh, uh, things happening outside nice that's very nice i think uh, a lot of times it is our own exploration no ah uh, really madam our competence slowly increases ah uh, increase and then exploring a little also what is that uh, i'm i'm exploring a little also not more not much time even then i am seeing the difference yeah so imagine if you explore a little more ah uh, yes madam definitely yes can you see that you are you have assumed something about it about you know like this instance of the salt perhaps that you know always the salt should be uh -huh. to your liking the food should be tasty yeah yeah uh, madam such and such thing or assumed that the person who is cooking should always cook in this manner it mm. should be mm. right for your taste so many things we assume that it must be like this that person should be like this this taste must be like this somewhere we have um, connected it to our happiness so if it is not like this i am bound to be unhappy but mm. now you are able to see that there is no such thing you can be calm you can be comfortable you can be happy within even though the situation outside may be the same yes madam yes madam because in life most of all are like this only madam is an <laughs> every incident we define before and we act true nice thank you thank you madam namaste didi namaste to all uh, Didi, in my case, uh, I think uh, it is entirely different uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, generally, I used to uh, take uh, less, very less salt. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, if I feel a lot of hungry, then I expect uh, equal salt. It means uh, uh, it should give a taste. Mm -hmm. So, if I find uh, the salt less. then mm -hmm. immediately i feel uh, actually my uh, requirement is less salt so very good like that but mm -hmm. uh, if more salt if i find mm -hmm. immediately my mind uh, reacts much mm -hmm. so because that is not good for health uh, because mm -hmm. i have uh, some understanding of uh, take less salt is always good for body and health and i have observed one more thing also if i consume with less salt i feel the digestion process is very easy and comfortable if uh, it is uh, give food give taste and uh, that is also little bit okay but more salt that is difficult to digest also what i feel observed so many times so in that sense uh, my feelings are very nice if less salt and if it is more salt i will react <laughs> so <laughs> it our second yeah. part so that is happen in my case yeah so now you can see that you have another option you yeah. don't have to react yeah you can probably mix with something without salt do something yeah, yes. like that, so that uh, you know you can have the taste part and so far as the health is also concerned once in a while if something like this happens it is not going to harm the health too much remember the body has its own self organization 
Yeah. If we make practice of it, and every day we are having that excess salt, then it may cause some disturbance. But otherwise, little once in a while, if something like this happens, it's largely taste related. That you know we dislike the taste. But other than that, for the body, the body will uh, be able to adjust to it yeah. once in a while. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, actually, I sometimes, many times, I found uh, uh, taste wise, uh, if salt is very less, I could find more taste in my case. I am saying uh, because I have practiced a lot without taking salt uh, so many years, also. Uh, yeah. That is the reason I think uh, without salt, I feel a lot of taste, and uh, with uh, uh, less salt, also okay, or but with. Uh, uh, people used to take uh, more salt, what I observed, more in the sense, uh, if, I, if I compare with me. Mm -hmm. So, that much salt I won't take me actually, in uh, general also. Yeah, so now you can see, you know, how our habits are so different. Yeah. Because our assumptions are so different. Yeah. The meanings yeah. that we are attaching can be very different. Yes. So, yes, true. If, uh, sometimes I find people uh, this uh, guava and uh, some apple or some fruits, people mix with salt and uh, this uh, mirch powder and all these. I hate that uh, process. If I see people, <laughs> I feel something and really react uh, somehow like that. Why? But <laughs> you can see yeah, because you know, myself <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because so can naturally see, one should consume without mixing uh, unnatural things, what I feel. See, this also, so many people for taste, they will do many things. No? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, we don't have to become unhappy with that. No, not unhappy. Something, uh, something they are not uh, understanding the good thing in that uh, and they are mixing and for taste only. They are unable to understand. That is my worry. Not, I am not feeling in my mind uh, unhappy or anything. Oh, but when you are complaining inside, that is reaction. That is also some unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so we yeah. can observe no? that they, okay, they, you know, they are uh, succumbing to the taste. They are giving more yeah, importance. Yeah. Yes, yes. That they are giving importance. To that. Understand. And we, yeah. if we think we can help them understand, we can do that. But generally yes. what we do is we react and then we tell them off something yeah. and then they react <laughs> and then yes. there is no, no discussion. Yes. Correct. So we need not react. Yes. Yeah. Even I am not reacting, uh, sometimes I am not the, regarding this food I am talking about, some other situations, even mm -hmm. I am not reacting, people used to react unnecessarily. That is also some disturbance or worry for me. <laughs> yeah, so that also we can see, you know, that the other person is also lacking competence. Yes. yes see, for many things, I may notice that, like for instance, you mentioned about the less salt. Yeah. So you might feel, okay, I am having less salt, it's good for health, everybody should have less salt. And they are not having. Now that is, and we find it, we are a little uncomfortable. Why they can't see? Why can't they understand? Yes, yes. Now this is, you know, something that is their opinion, that their, you know, expectation from the food, they are looking yeah. at the taste. Yeah, yeah. In, in your case also, you can see, even though for this particular situation, like for less salt, you may not be reacting, yeah. but you may be yeah. reacting to something else. Like when there is more salt, you may be reacting. Yes, sir. They yes. may not react yes. for that. You yes. see, so you will find yes. that uh, many times we compare with where we are okay. Yeah. You know, where we think we are in the right. Yes, yes. And we compare with others who are not doing things the same manner and we yes. get disturbed. But we can also see that in so many other areas, we also may be lacking competence. Na? Yes. So similarly yes. for them also. Yes. 
we have different sankars and scars we have different opinions right. we have different tastes so all of that can influence um, but ultimately to be able to see that if we take the guidance from the natural acceptance then we need not get disturbed we'll yes. do whatever it is required outside yes. but we'll not get disturbed by it yes but uh, uh, my observations are uh, people used to take a lot of uh, mix powder and salt uh, they are by because of temptation or taste uh, but uh, they are feeling uh, suffering with uh, some uh, problems uh, of the body stomach or all those even then they are not realized but uh, what they are doing is taking tablets or something so even we tell them they are not understanding only they used to take consume like that uh, and they are taking some tablets or medicine or like that, that is a thing uh, <laughs> it is difficult to make them understand sometimes uh, what i have observed in my regular activities yeah see, the, the, the point is if i don't have happiness inside i am going to look for happiness outside yeah it's just yeah. that they are looking for happiness in something else i may be looking for happiness outside in something else yes sir yes. isn't it so yeah. we can yeah. just have compassion and say okay, okay they are you know lacking in competence yeah and if we can help them if we can have concern if we can get them eventually to see that the happiness comes from within that yeah. that is far more satisfying far more um, you know in our control and we can have continuity of that happiness then uh, eventually they will be able to get out of this but if they don't see the happiness inside and we try to take away their happiness from outside also then of course they will react Yes. Actually, I observed uh, regarding aged people, uh, they are very much uh, suffering uh, because of this. Uh, what I uh, feel uh, because of this, a uh, lot of meat, salt, and masala, all the. Even then, without that, uh, they won't touch the food. Uh, whatever happen, uh, the consequences they are unable to understand won't touch. If they we won't put this masala or uh, salt more and uh, meat and everything. Uh, yeah, they are not really. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That if you don't see the happiness inside, you are going yeah. to look for happiness outside. They may be yeah. getting that happiness from this kind of taste. I so, may be getting yeah. this happiness from outside for something else. So if I see from my myself, I will also be lacking competence in many such areas. So yeah. important thing is if we just try to tell them, no, no, you don't do this, don't do that. don't take yeah. this kind of food okay. now for them happiness is not there inside now you are trying to take away their happiness from outside also then they yeah. get disturbed they get react mm-hmm. they react so that yeah. doesn't so for uh, to make them uh, happy inside uh, what shall we do then ultimately we have to show them the path to this fulfillment of the self that my happiness okay. comes from within not from okay. outside once they taste that is that meaning once they are able to yeah, see the happiness yeah. within it is so yeah. much more satisfying than this little bit of yeah. temporary so what they call happiness they will slowly come out of it yes yes yeah okay thank so, you thank you namaste didi namaste all uh i like to continue my yesterday's uh, sharing Um, because i told that uh, when i am observing my some situation as a, as a from uh, outsider as an outsider mm-hmm. when i speaking very fast or very slow or other type of expression then i have found i was sharing that uh, <coughs> sometimes uh, i feel that Uh, somebody is doing the activity and somebody is observing and uh, it is that the self being splitted into two parts and that happens not only when i am disturbed that is sometime it happens that when um 
i i uh, i cannot express what that why it happens i don't know but uh, i have experienced that that uh, as if i am speaking but somebody is telling that yes uh, you are speaking uh, or uh, observing so that is this within the self there are two entities that is one thing <laughs> yeah see i wouldn't say two entities but within the self we have already said no there is a b2 block there is a b1 block not that hmm. there are blocks like that but there are certain activities that we are familiar with and we are using and then there are certain activities which we are not using no hmm. Hmm. the natural acceptance we are not using the higher activities we may not be aware of so when you are observing from where the natural acceptance is it does look like there are two but it's not really two like a separate entity it is within myself i can observe so when my thoughts are going on if i am identified with my thoughts with my feelings then i can't see it as separate but when i am observing from the natural acceptance i can see them as separate so there you might be getting that thing of separateness ha huh. when we, suppose i am answering somebody or uh, i am in a meeting and i am talking so in those cases in those situations i have experienced many mm-hmm. times mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> you can observe it more and see you know mm. are you comfortable with that uncomfortable with that what is happening no yeah yes i have not experienced in the, uh, after being exposed to usb but before mm-hmm. that i those experiences very nice yeah. so thank you thank you thank you <coughs> yeah uh madam i wanted to just know whether this uh, taste example which we were discussing or it was pointed out by many explorers whether this example the taste is a feeling or a sensation we would say a sensation the sensation is associated with the self or body sensations are there in the body the self can read them by choice so sensation will vary from person to person right see sensation is just a sensation my interpretation of the sensation can vary for no, instance no. sensation if it is linked with the body only then it will vary from body to body right no no see ab like for instance some salt in the food like we were discussing yes no? yes it leads to some sensation in the body yeah that may be for a person it may be less salt it for another person it may be more salt whatever wait, it is wait 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 some sensation is there whether there is less salt or there is more salt some sensation yes. is there na yes 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 now when i as the self when i read that sensation i have given some meaning to that so in my case if i give the meaning that you know it should have the food must have less salt now when i taste that i dislike it no before that the body is see the body for the i mean the amount of salt which should be present in a particular type of food the body is related with the sensation is it not the sensation is there the sensation is there but when i am reading that sensation i am giving that meaning you see so there the difference comes in for the body there is no issue body can yeah. adjust little that bit means, uh, uh, i mean different cells are reading it differently for the same kind of i mean taste yeah. whatever is sensed by the body yeah. so whatever is significant for me i give importance to that so for instance supposing i want that the food should be hot yeah right or i am taking half a cup of milk and i want that the milk should be nice and hot even if it is not hot i feel okay this is not good another person same half glass of milk they are taking for them they don't like very hot they like somewhat you know lukewarm 
so if it becomes too hot they dislike it now this meaning i am giving some sensation is there in the body the body doesn't have a problem with that but whatever meaning i give to it accordingly i respond or react can you see that yeah but my doubt is whether uh, we are defining this meaning for the sensation which is felt by the body or the body is already not wanting say suppose my body is not accepting something with more salt no no there's no question of body not accepting i don't allow the body to accept because i refuse to give the instruction to put it in the mouth no no but when we have more salt it is a sensation again uh, tongue or the sense organ is sensing that right that is part of the body not part yeah, of the so, sense so if you are putting the food in the mouth some taste sensation is there when yes. i read that sensation i decide that this is too salty or yes. i decide that this is less salt and this decision of mine will vary from different selves to different selves no for instance okay, okay. i as a self may decide that this much salt is okay you as another self may decide this much salt is not okay like just right. now we were getting that example no right, right, so right, it is right. the self that is giving that meaning body doesn't okay. have a problem if you feed it with excess salt like that example i think shrinivas ji was giving when people are you know giving the body too much salt also again and again and again the body is having those consequences it is not nurturing for the body but the body doesn't have a choice in the matter because the self is instructing the body to take it so it will take it okay okay yeah okay okay thank you ma'am thank you okay i think we can go now to um the uh, lecture 12 if you can put that okay so now we come back to lecture 12 the activities of the self and the interaction between the self and the body this is what we have been doing just we'll go through the steps of the exercise to how we have been doing if you can go to the next slide yeah so here is again you are probably familiar with this chart we were just discussing this this is representing the activities that are going on in the self so you have the lower v2 block lower activities of the self which we are using often and then you have the higher activities the b1 block which is being shown in purple just to see the contrast and a lot of times what we are doing is based on you know whatever our level of competence is whatever we have awakened to till there we see so if we are just going by taste i like this taste so i want to continue this i dislike this taste so i want to avoid it you see it is at the level of expectation selecting tasting if i am now looking at should i do this should i not do this what kind of effect it will have on the body i am analyzing i am comparing this is at the level of thought little bit um uh, higher than the expectation then we come to desire desire whatever i want to do here you will see there is some feeling associated with it and this uh you know when i am not awakened to the higher activities so if the b1 block is veiled i don't see it right now which is largely the case 
for most of us when we start this journey so you are trying to get this uh you know wanting to be happy like we all want ultimately our root desire is we want to be happy so this you know to have this when we don't have the guidance of the higher activities we try to get this from outside so if i have something tasty i will feel good yeah things like that so this is what we were saying that if somebody is at this level and you keep telling them you should not do this you should not do that it's not good for the body now they are not able to see happiness inside because they are not taking guidance from higher activities and we are trying to take away their happiness that they are trying to get from outside then obviously they react because it is like you are coming between me and my desire isn't it so you are trying to prevent my desire from being fulfilled because i don't see that there is some other possibility but as we awaken to the higher activities as we start referring to the natural acceptance and from there start awakening to the higher activities we find slowly that the fulfillment of the self is from within the self what we can experience the happiness we can experience within from these activities contemplation understanding realization contemplation has to do with seeing my relationship with others seeing my participation in the larger order so with that the kind of happiness i get is much more desirable or uh much more long lasting as compared to the you know trying to get this pleasure from outside which can be only momentary temporary so this we can see when we are able to start experiencing that happiness within that's when we will very slowly and naturally be able to come out of this constant trying to get happiness from outside so these higher activities of contemplation have to do with relationship like we mentioned seeing our relatedness with other units understanding is to be able to understand the harmony in all the units in nature to be able to understand the self organization within them how things are working how things are in harmony how all the units are by themselves in harmony and also participating in interaction with one another and being in harmony and ultimately the activity of realization from where we can see things the way they are we can see the units being submerged in space we can see the basis for all of this the coexistence so all of this uh, all of these activities are within the self there is no separate entity like b1 and b2 are not separate entities they are part of the same self but i have the ability to observe from the level of b1 from the level of pure observer or natural acceptance i am able to observe what is going on in b2 that is how we are able to do the explorations yes uh next slide yeah this is also something you are familiar with we have discussed this many times that we as a human being are a coexistence of two distinct entities the consciousness unit or the self and the material unit that is the body and between these two there is no hardwired physical connection but there is exchange of information that information 
largely i am the one who is responsible for giving the instruction to the body reading the sensation from the body as we will as we have discussed and we will recap next slide please can we go to next slide yeah so you can see this is what we have been doing in exercise 2 through your imagination you can see that you are there you can also see that the body is there because you are able to read the sensations so you can see that the self and the body are two distinct realities this we said in step 1 then in step 2 we were observing the interaction that you have with the body so we try to observe this that we give instructions to the body we are the ones who read the sensations in the body and we do this not all the time from time to time whenever we think it is required whenever we think it is important in step 3 we were trying to see who is making the decisions about all this exchange of information and we could see that i am the one who is you know the self is the one that is making these decisions because what instruction has to be passed to the body what sensation has to be read from the body i am deciding in step 4 we were asking the question are we the sensation are we in the sensation and we said no but we are at a distance from the sensation step 5 we were observing the interaction not just with the body but with the world outside also through the sensation and how we give meaning to any particular sensation so different selves give different meanings right in step 6 we were trying to see these meanings that we are giving they are because of something that we have accepted or something that we believe to be true about any particular unit and based on that we give some meaning so there we could see the role of the sanskar in it later when we come to step 7 after a few lectures we'll come back to step 7 there we will try to see that we are in coexistence in space the body is also in coexistence in space that these are two distinct entities there is a distance between the two yes so we can go to the next slide here you have the same detailing observing the self and the body by the self step 1 um you know i am able to observe these two distinct realities because i can see my activities so i can see that i am there i can also see that the body is there because i am reading the sensations from the body as and when i want so i can see these two distinct realities if there is any question uh, you can just raise your hand and interrupt me but i am going a little faster here because we have already been through this next slide step 2 we were observing the interaction between the self and the body what is this that is happening in between the exchange of information there is nothing physiochemical so i am giving some instruction whenever i want to take some work from the body this instruction is information many events are taking place in the body there are many sensations in the body i read some of these sensations and i taste the sensation that i read the sensation is also an information so therefore we could conclude that this interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of transaction of information nothing physical is being exchanged this we saw in step 2 next slide in step 
we were trying to see who is the decision maker who is deciding to give the instruction to the body or to read specific sensations self or body and we could see that i am the one who is choosing i am the one who is deciding to give instructions to the body and i am the one also who is deciding to read specific sensations from the body whenever i want to read them whenever i think it is important so all these decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are totally mine mine meaning the self so i interact with the body whenever i think it is important from time to time not all the time and the body will just act according to whatever instruction i give it so i am using the body for my requirement whatever i think is important for me so i am using the body like a tool like an instrument next slide so essentially i am deciding what to do what not to do so i decide you know if you look at the self i am deciding my feeling my thought my expectation if you look at at the level of the body wherever my involvement is required i am the one who is giving the instructions to the body whatever i want the body to do and i am using the body like an instrument so whatever i have assumed about this entire existence based on that i use the body to interact with this existence so it depends on what kind of meaning i have given whatever tastes i read you know whatever sensations i read whatever sensations i taste from the body i decide what to do with that based on whatever i have assumed so if i assume that the body i need to use it for good taste then i will keep using it for getting that good taste even if it harms the body the body doesn't have any choice in the matter the body will just continue to take my instruction yes geeta ji is there we'll come back to your question we'll just go through these steps quickly step 3 observing the interaction between the self and the body by the self here we can see i mean we did the step but we can see here that i am the one who is the observer yeah i can see i can observe using the body like a tool i can use all the sense organ so i am the one who is actually seeing we discussed this in detail i am deciding what to do even though it's happening through the body but i am the one who is giving the instruction so essentially i am the doer and the ex- experience of happiness and happiness you know being comfortable and uncomfortable that is all mine so i am the enjoyer or i am the experiencer in all of this next slide step 4 we were trying to see the distance between the self and the body so when i am reading the sensation taking place in the body we said i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation but i am at a distance from the sensation there is a distance between me and the sensation and i can read this sensation that is there in any part of the body from where i am i just have to decide to read it and i can read it so we said there is a distance between the self and the body i can increase or decrease this distance we will try to look at this later next slide yeah so now you can see that since i am the doer i am the observer i am the experiencer i am the decision maker in all of this transaction between the self and the body now it is up to me to be able to see my need is for happiness and prosperity and i want it in continuity and i can see that my activities are also continuous 
when it comes to the body i can see that the need of the body is for physical facility it is temporary need time to time it is needed now if i can see these two distinct entities if i can understand myself and i can understand the body then i can also see that since i am the decision maker i am the one who has to take responsibility for the body i shouldn't just keep giving it some instruction even though you know it is not nurturing for the body because ultimately then the body will not be able to function properly so i can have the right feeling if i understand these things then i will have the right feeling the feeling of self regulation within me that feeling of responsibility towards the body and i will do whatever it is required for nurturing the body protecting the body rightly utilizing the body so you know nurturing the body as in i will eat those kind of foods that are useful for the body for maintaining it in good health rather than just for taste yes it can be tasty also but my prime concern will be with the nurturing of the body similarly for protection similarly for right utilization if i don't understand things the way they are then i may be using the body just to get good sensation and get pleasure but if i can see the utilization of the body is for my purpose and my purpose is ultimately to awaken to the higher activity then i will put the body to that use next slide or you can open up that slide yeah so when i do that then the body will be in good health all the parts will function well and i can see that physical facility is required but only for this you know keeping the body in good health for nurturing protecting and rightly utilizing the body i don't confuse with my needs i don't confuse my needs with the needs of the body i can see that this is required in limited quantity and that we can identify how much is required next slide so you can see that whatever you know food clothes shelter food for nurturing clothes and shelter for protecting instruments that we use to rightly utilize the body all these we can see that they can be we can recognize these we can also see that they are required in limited quantity and we can identify how much so all this we have seen earlier also i won't go into more detail next slide so therefore we can see that this role of physical facility in the body you know that all this is required in limited quantity how do i decide how much is limited in that you know i have to see what is the body's requirement that much only is required that much i need to keep the body nurtured protected and rightly utilized so when i am able to identify this correctly and i am able to have or produce more than required then i feel prosperous so with that prosperity then i can think of rightly utilizing nurturing not just the body but other units also other human beings also i don't try to snatch from others next slide you can open up this slide so this we had asked this question i am sure you recall this that you know uh, we said there are two types of human beings two categories one who are lacking physical facility therefore they are unhappy deprived 
but then there are many who have the physical facility still they are unhappy and deprived so now you can see that if we identify the required physical facility properly then we need not be in this state if we can have you know if we can see that what is required we may already have it we can be prosperous right there we don't have to feel unhappy and deprived otherwise we'll keep shifting between 1 and 2 we'll still be unhappy and deprived so we need to rightly identify how much is required and make that much available next slide yeah so right now if you see lot of times we are confusing the two the self and the body lot of times we assume that the body you know i am the body this confusion seems to come in i equate myself to be the body therefore whatever is my need i try to get it through the body because i think that is the way therefore i keep going after more and more and more food clothes all of these requirements of the body but i am really trying to fulfill my need of feelings and because my need is a continuous need i am trying to get this through the physical things so i feel the need for physical things is unlimited so i keep accumulating more and more and more and i am still feeling deprived because my need for happiness is not yet fulfilled because that has to come from within the self so i find myself caught up in this loop because i am feeling deprived that i don't have enough i keep making effort for more physical facility gathering more physical facility when i am having more and more even though you know uh, i have more i still feel i don't have enough so i keep trying to accumulate more and more so it seems like it is unlimited so you have to check if we are not caught up in this loop yeah next slide yeah so yes we will take questions also um you opened up the the slide for the self reflection but meanwhile we'll take questions didi namaste didi namaste sabhi ko namaste didi my query is not directly related to the content that is just now discussed but i was remembering the proposal i am related to all units and today while i was using the, using the washing machine and mixer i could not uh, i am not, i am unable to connect to those units i am thinking that it is a non living thing so where i am lacking didi no you can just see that you know you are using those like tools mm. to help your purpose no to rightly mm. utilize your body you are using some tools that is seeing your relatedness with them but no, i am thinking yeah they will not be able to relate to me like that i am thinking deep <laughs> they don't have to relate to you you have to be able to understand your relationship with all units so you have to be able to see that this is helping you mm. in your process of rightly utilizing the body isn't it mm-hmm. you take care of it like you have other instruments like you have car and whatever else you will take care of those instruments that's all that they are helping you in your process of rightly utilizing the body you'll understand them for what they are yeah mm mm-hmm. okay